before we go live, I want to make sure we're all on the same page. With the current economic climate and all. Come on, we know how to do our jobs. Just keep it light. Yes, it's the eye to heart to wallet equation. Just keep the energy up. It's not easy to raise money for charity during this time. So let's lube up the wallet opening. Five, four, three, two, one. Good evening, everybody. Yes, an exceptionally good evening indeed. Today, we are raising money for three charities. Live on this televised telethon. Changing lives at its best. And you don't have to go anywhere for it. Just a little tap on your phone from the comfort of your home. Dial 0800 doing good. Yes, that's 0800 364 644 and this only works because we have two beautiful women selling it. <laughs> we know to open that wallet. Images are everything. Yes, it's the eye to heart to wallet equation. We see the suffering. We feel bad about the suffering. We do something. If you dial 0800 doing good, you have three options over three call lines. We're already hitting the target with line one. Indeed we are. We all love a rescue dog, unless it is old and mostly has dark fur. <laughs> yes, even in the dog world, it pays to be young and light-skinned. Which is why you, our generous callers, surpassing our target and nearing 100,000 pounds is just, it's magnificent. I know this cause is a special one close to your heart, Betty. Indeed it is, Mary. I have three of my own. Show them that picture I sent you the other day. <laughs> Definitely debunking two levels of myth there. A black person with dogs. <laughs> and to top it off, senior dogs with dark fur. Oh, you're a good one, Betty. Right? Aren't they the cutest? Give us their names, Betty. From left to right, their names are Garrett, Clarina, and, um, and Morris. Is everything all right, Betty? The best. My colleague is the queen of hearts. Come on, folks, give generously. Okay. So line two um, is close to many people. It's the disease to win hearts. And have people doing marathons and shaving their heads. Unless, of course, you get the wrong kind. Your donation on line two goes to people with lung cancer as a result of their own result to smoke. Mm, it's a very hard sell. No pretty pictures here. No, because it is widely believed it is your fault if you smoke. But we need you. See the suffering. Feel bad about the suffering. Do something. There are beautiful people waiting for your call on line two. We are currently at £20,000. Come on, folks, we need your generosity. And there's more to melt your hearts leading to you handing over the bank card details. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, line three. Remember, we see the suffering. We feel bad about the suffering. We do something. Now, this one is difficult to diagnose, even harder to see with the naked eye as it manifests itself differently in every patient. Marfan syndrome. Ever heard of this one? The average person with it will be extremely tall. Basketball or netball, anyone? Any contact sport would be the last thing any person with this condition can do because they... They have long fingers, which means... <laughs> they can do things with their fingers. Oh, hold on. Yeah, you, you interrupted me. <laughs> I told you that's my colleague Betty, all heart. Oh, please stop with this bullshit. 
did you read the research brief on Marfan syndrome? Don't be silly, Betty. I am a professional just like you. It's a life-threatening condition. Aren't they all? A person with this condition could die. I could die. Not if our callers open their wallets. Oh, please, stop with that bullshit. We could raise all the money we need, but a person can still die in the inevitable heart surgery. Tell me something. Why do we do this every year? Betty, whatever it is that is clearly bothering you, now is not the time. We are here to raise money for charity, not to hear... Mm -hmm. It's not Betty, it's Albertina. And after all these years, why is Albertina still not sexy enough for this channel? Once a year, we do this stupid telethon to raise money for a cause. A hierarchy of causes for it, that matter, forgetting that there are people, human lives at the heart of it. Basketball, anyone? Where do I even begin? Any contact sport is totally off limits for anyone with Marfan syndrome. It's sports or death. Plus, their eyesight is so poor they can barely see anything beyond their noses. After all this time, sitting side by side before we had to go virtual, and you never notice that I stare blankly at the teleprompter. Every year, I spend hours learning my lines before the telethon because I am legally blind and I can't see anything on that damn teleprompter. All these years, you still ask me again and again why I still don't have a car. Being legally blind means I can't drive and guess what, I never will. To all our viewers still watching, we're still talking about Marfan syndrome. I have Marfan syndrome. It's a genetic disorder that affects the stuff that keeps your whole body together. So, you can look as made up as me, look normal, but still live with a growing hole inside your heart and see the world as a permanent snowstorm. 